Welcome to Tradeify walkthrough video. Today, we're going to take you through all the great features that make Tradeify the fastest and easiest job management software for tradespeople all over the world. In the description, you'll be able to skip ahead if you're wanting to see something specific. Otherwise, sit back and see how Tradeify makes running your trade business a breeze. At the moment, we'll take you through the whole end-to-end -end job management workflow in the app when you're using your phones on site. So you're looking at your Tradeify dashboard. From here, obviously, you'll find all of the jobs that are scheduled for the day, any invoices um, and quotes sitting in these different statuses. Let's assume we'll be creating an inquiry, say we have gotten a phone call from a potential client. Now, from the inquiry section, you'll find that you've got two tabs available. You've got your to-do list as well as any inquiries that you've already actioned so you know exactly which ones you have already responded to. For now, we'll go ahead and create a new one. Say we have gotten a phone call from one of our clients, Smith, and say he'd want us to install a heat pump. So that's the inquiry there. We just go ahead and save that. And in order for us to action this inquiry, all we'll need to do is click on that inquiry and click on that inquiry actions button. Now, what I'd like to do is convert that into a quote because it's asking me for a price. So I'll select one of our existing customers here. We've got a profile for Smith. From our app, we'd be able to break down the individual prices of what that heat pump install entails. So let's just say, for example, we'd like to add our labor. So obviously, that'd be your time. Say it take us four hours to complete this job. We can also add a process item. So essentially, if you've got standard suppliers or wholesalers where you would get your materials from, we could help you import that within Tradeify. If that's saved in your accounting package, you could easily import that or sync that across to Tradeify. Otherwise, all we will need is a CSV file or an Excel spreadsheet so we can help you transfer that across into your Tradeify library. For now, what we'll do is we'll select from an item that we already got on file, say heat pump. We're happy with that. We just add that there. So you see that there are two different line items within this particular quote. And what we have as well is if you've got a lot of standard package jobs is kit. So this will save you a lot of time down the track because what that does is it essentially um, covers all of the um, information that you've got against this job. So you'll see that in this section over here under the components is you've got a whole lump sum of what that job entails, including the labor plus all of the materials that's included against this job. So what we'll do for now is we'll be happy with that. We'll click done. Um, we'll just go ahead and delete um, what we've got for time and what we've got for labor because I'm happy with the kit. And what we'll do is preview that to see what that looks like. So as you can see from your mobile app or from your iPad, you'd be able to create a code straight away. This is what that would look like. And you'll be able to send that across via email to your clients, even if you're on site or on your car. Um, you don't have to be in front of your computer to do all these things. Um, you can attach photos and files by clicking that icon there. For now, we'll go ahead and send that across. And once your clients receive this via email, they would also find an accept your client button. For now, we'll go ahead and approve that quote. Um, and say we have got a verbal approval via phone, we'll just go ahead and accept that. We can get a signature from our client when we send that while we're on site. Pretty handy, super easy to do. And once a quote is accepted, we can now turn that into a job card. Now in the job card stage, obviously you'd be able to allocate that to your staff members. So once you're ready to schedule this job in, all you will need to do is open the scheduler. It will then take you to your Tradeify calendar. So it is color coded per staff member that's allocated to the job. So you'd easily be able to keep track of who's working on what. Now, 
To make it look less busy, you can also, you know, filter the staff members that you'd like to see within your calendar. So it would look as such. Now, if I'm wanting to schedule this job for next week, all I will need to do is click on the day and time that I want that job scheduled for. That's the 4th of November. And all I will need to do is allocate my staff member that I'd like to work on that particular job, say that's Deanna. We just save that on there for the 4th of November. And we'll just go ahead and actually change the finish time. So say we'd want them to work on that from midday to three o'clock. We'll just save that there. And as you can see, that gets plotted onto the calendar here. Pretty easy and straightforward. Now what we'll do is go and open that job card. You'll see all the different features on top that you can allocate to the job as well. So, you know, when your guys are on site, they will be able to start time. They can clock in and clock out of the jobs. They can add notes or leave that blank. Start the timer, obviously, once they're working on the job, pause while they're on break and stop the timer once they're done with the job. And it will take them to the general timesheets, which would show them the dollar value. But it would be totally up to you on what your staff members can do and see within the system. So if you didn't want them to see any financial information, you can definitely hide that there. So what we'll do for now is go into the notes section. If your guys, when they're on site, would like to obviously add any progress to the job. So um, we have done the measurements, for example. They can just click on that. It gets saved against the job card, or they can also take a photo of the job. So, you know, before and after photos, it gets automatically attached to the job card. So that's, you know, pretty handy and easy to use as well. We also have forms available. So if you would like to fill out the forms while you're on site, we have these different forms available. It is different for the different countries, regions, and states that you're in. Um, for now, what I'll show you is an example of that, what our swims would look like in Australia. We'll just skip all those different features for now, but we will declare that work. And again, as you can see, as a worker, you'd be able to put your signature in and add your name against the worker that's done that job. And if you preview this form. This is what that would look like, assuming we have added a few information and filled out that form whilst we're on site, or even before you go on site, you'd be able to pre-populate that as well. This is what that would look like, as you can see. If you're happy with that, you can again, email that across. But again, all the forms, will get attached to your job card. So you definitely be able to keep everything all in one place there. Perfect. Now, what we'll do is we'll go under the cost section. This is essentially where you could attach any materials or ad hoc expenses that um, are relevant to this job. So for now, what we'll do is we'll just copy the materials that we have quoted for. Again, we have quoted for a whole kit. So what this does is it captures all of the materials that we've added against that kit. So again, that reduces a lot of manual handling and double entry for you. It will just automatically pull across all of the materials that were relevant against this job. One of the other things that we do is, you know, purchase orders and bills within Tradeify. If you would like to send out purchase orders to your standard suppliers or wholesalers where you would normally purchase your materials from, we can help you out with that. So, for example, we would need an additional heat pump from Bunnings. We can do that. We'll just add the supplier Bunnings and we'll add a line item there. Again, all we'll need to do is type the first few characters of that material that we want to add against this job. And it will give us a drop down list of what we want to attach or break down on that purchase order. Makes it easier for us to send this across to our suppliers when we need that material across. Now, when we want to, once we've bought in that material and if once we 
have received the supplier's invoice, all we'll need to do then is copy that into a bill. Now, once that's a bill and trade file, that's essentially your supplier's invoices, which we can then attach as an actual cost against your job, which again, would make it easier for you to keep track of your material costs against your jobs. And again, would make it easier for you to charge your clients down the track. So now say we're done with the job, the job is completed, we're ready to invoice out. There are different invoice types available within Tradeify, right? So since this is a quoted job, what we'll do is we'll invoice from a quote. Again, it will automatically capture all the quote information and turn that into an invoice. If you do any progress invoice, you can invoice a percentage of a quote. The system automatically calculates that for you. In the meantime, we'll keep it simple. We'll go ahead and invoice the entire quote amount and we will group the kit into a single line item. Um, you have the ability to break that down in the invoice stage. For now, we'll keep it simple for our clients. We'll show them the full description of the job plus the lump sum amount. Again, as you can see, that kit information got captured in the invoice stage. And if we preview that invoice, this is what that would look like. Now, if you're happy with what the invoice would look like, as you can see, we can email that across to your clients. Any invoices that you create from Tradeify, if you're using an accounting package that we integrate with, whether that be Zero, QuickBooks Online, or Maya but can't write in essentials, all the invoice gets synced across to your accounting package. For now, let's just say we're happy with that. We'll just go ahead and approve that before we send that out. Sending that across to your clients. Now, remember that the system Tradeify has the ability to receive online payments. Now we integrate with Stripe. That's a third party payment portal. All you will need to do is create an account with Stripe, link that up with Tradeify. We can help you out with that. Now what that does is it automatically um, gets that pay now button or displays that pay now button within your invoices that you send out to your client. Now when your clients click that button, they could easily add their card payment information and you would get that payment from Stripe um, into your bank accounts. You also have your automated payment reminders as you can see here. So you won't have to manually chase your um, clients for payments. The system automatically does that for you until they make a payment for that invoice. Now, we'll go ahead and save that invoice there. Um, if you at any point want to send a job service report to your client, if you want them to get um, your job signed off on, you can definitely create a job service report. So what you'll do is you just click that button. What that does is it automatically captures all of the information that you've added against the job card. And it will be totally up to you what you want to do display um, when you're sending this out to your client. If you want to show them, you know, the total number of hours plus all of the materials and notes or photos that you have attached against that job, you can definitely do that. If you're on site, they can definitely sign off on that quote or that job service report straight away. Otherwise, you can just email that across and again, they will find an accept or decline button. Otherwise, you'll just see the sign job service report button there. Client sign off on that. And that's the job all done. Awesome. The, so that's generally the whole walkthrough from, you know, setting out quotes, inquiries to turning them into a job card, scheduling them in to turn them into an invoice. Now I'll just take you quickly through what the settings from the app would look like as well. You've got your different billing rates, so you can set up your hourly rates against your clients. So if you charge differently for the different kinds of clients or the different types of workers that's um, performing the job, you can customize that from here. Apart from that, we also have pricing 
or price lists available. So again, like I mentioned earlier, if you've got standard suppliers or wholesalers where you would get your materials from, we can help you import that into Tradeify. So all of the materials that you are purchasing from your suppliers will be saved under our trade file library, which makes it easier for you to break down your quotes, um, invoices, or simply attach quotes against your jobs. Now, another thing that we've got is your document themes. You can create multiple document themes or multiple layouts against your Tradeify account. So I'll just show you what that would look like here. This is where you can upload your own logo, your own terms and conditions, payment information, and stuff like that. So if you go into the invoices and I preview that, this is basically what that would look like. So again, you can create multiple templates against Tradeify. And again, it will just make it easier for you to send that across to your clients if you've got different templates for the different types of clients that you're working on. And that is pretty much it. That wraps up the whole walkthrough on Tradeify. Again, um, you can streamline the running of your trades business using our platform. If you want to see how this will benefit your business, try this for free for 14 days. All you will need to do is jump onto our Tradeify website. That's www.tradeifyh2.com. And one of our Tradeify experts will get in touch with you to help you figure out if it's going to be the best fit for your business. Looking forward to getting in touch with you guys. And that's about it. Thank you for your time. Bye.